old favorite location. I got the first sump up here today. Make sure I brought the weed whacker out. Cool, it's old. Alright, I'm on to sump now. Looks like it might be a drill. Something broke, maybe. Let's see. Nice little point. Cool. I gotta go find Brandy. Alright, looks like Brandy's got something here today. Maybe a tool or something. Oh yeah. Sweet. She's a nice little knife. Okay. Cute. Nice. Yeah, we're at one of our favorite spots today and we noticed some foot tracks and what appears to be a sand drawing of a Purdy's <laughs> and right in front of it is a little depression where something got pulled out. Y'all reckon somebody's been here? Yep. Dang, she has something good over here. I can just tell by the way she looked at me. What you got over here? Looks like a little sand Patrice, maybe? Dalton? Holy crap, is that a Folsom? What is that? Let me see that sucker. Dang. <laughs> What is it? I think it's a Clovis, a resharpened Clovis. Dang, look at that flute. Holy crap, that is bad. Yay. Holy crap. Okay, I'm done. Let's get out of here. Yay. Wow, you excited? Yes. Holy crap. Hey, we're on our way back to the truck. Brandy just found a Clovis, and uh, I've either got a Dalton or a Keithville here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it is a Keithville, isn't it? Yeah, that is awesome. I'd like to thank my man Honey Bun out there. He <laughs> sent me some good luck this weekend. He uh, sent me some Pelican good luck, and uh, we found a Clovis and a Keithville. Awesome. All right, we're trying to get back to the truck, but for some reason there's artifacts laying everywhere. Brandy's got a little Friley here. Why don't you pull them out? It's a oh, little man, that's cool. man. He would have been cute. Sweet. Oops. Hey, let's just close our eyes and walk back to the truck. No. All right, we finally made it to the truck with our finds for the day. And man, that is awesome. Let's get out of here. East Best. Texas Airheads, July 24th. Today we went to one of our old favorite spots that we just hadn't hit much this year. We just call it the Old Sand Hill. Here's a few of the artifacts we found today. Here's a big old uh, crude point brandy found, petrified wood. I found this point, petrified wood also, cortex on the base and all up on this side. It's pretty thin. It's got a killer tip on it. I'm not quite sure what this is. Kind of looks like a wells. It is ground. Not quite sure though. It's black on this side, black and red on this side. Unusual material too. Here's that little point I thought was a bird out in the field. It's just a broke drill but it's very polished. It's very slick on this side. They were definitely using that for some kind of work there. Pretty awesome. Here's an unusual little bird Brandy found. It's got a killer little tip. No flaking on the base at all and it's made on a fire damaged flake. Pretty cool. Here's that little Friley she found. Awesome flaking on it. It's a shame it's missing an ear. Here's some of the miscellaneous tools from today. Big old crude knife. A little better knife there. It's a little thinner with a good blade on it. This one's great. This is a, a scraper or a knife. It's got a, a notch on this side and one on the other side. It was purposely done like that so you could hold it and not have it slip on you. I mean, it just feels right with your thumb on there and you could really use that awesome blade on it all the way around. It's polished. Like I said, you can hold it in either direction and work it. Pretty cool. Petrified wood also. This is one of my favorite finds uh, here this year. It's the longest graver I've ever seen. It's worked all the way around both sides of that tip. I think this is probably the earliest form of any kind of uh, tattoo machine. I don't know if I can get this uh, magnified enough for y'all can see it, but man, it's got some killer work around that tip. If I had a better phone or a camera, you could probably see that work. Anyways, I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I collect these micro tools, and that, that's an awesome one. Just killer. Here's some more broke stuff. 
these three little polished stones were all found together clumped up in some really dark brown sand they're all polished this one's nearly flat this one has a flat spot on one side this has kind of got a teardrop shape unusual material also possibly in a shaman's pouch or maybe a rattler there's no telling uh, here's the two paleo points of the day I found this Keithville San Patrice very polished fire treated you can see the red tip and two red ears on it it's ground pretty awesome and then Brandy killed it today with this sucker just awesome it's a little resharpened Clovis and it is just bad it's completely ground to here you see where the flute channel stops on this side all the way to the tip I mean just bad can't really tell with this camera phone but man you can see where it's been resharpened you can see where the two different styles of flaking come across on there pretty excited I think we might take the rest of the year off after this it's been a real good summer maybe we'll pick up another hobby to lay off on this for a while check out this awesome hammer sound made out of petrified wood usually these start off square and uh, you can see how round it is completely smooth they have used the heck out of it, it's got a nice groove running through this side here's another nice little hammer stone alright I'll get back to y'all if we find anything else here in the weeks to come Later. I think after uh, hunting paleo artifacts all day, we're going to have a nice paleo dinner. What you got going on there? Got some chops and some veggies and a salad with some lobster. Looks good.